Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Michael Crawford here and today I'm just going to be updating the firmware in my Panasonic G9 to the latest version today or a few days ago uh, to version 2.1. So the first thing you want to do is to check your current version to make sure you don't already got 2.1 and you're just wasting your time. So let's go and check my version. Okay, so I'll turn the camera on and then I'm going to go in to the menu and you can see where I am and then we're going to check the version and we can see there my version is version 2.0. So it's time to update this camera. So first things first, I'm going to format the card that's in this camera. So I'll just go back and format it. One moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is to format the card in slot one. I'm just choosing slot one because that's a good slot. And I've just formatted that now and now let's get onto the computer and put in this new firmware into this card okay so on the computer you're going to want to go to Panasonic's website and get the firmware so let's go there okay that one that one so here we are Okay, so on the website of Panasonic, you'll need to navigate your way through to find their firmware update, which is usually, for me anyway, it was I went support, digital AV, digital camera, and then download. And here we have the various camera models. And here we can see the DC G9, which is what the G9 um, Panasonic camera is called. And you can see there's version 2.1 released on the 17th of February. So, very exciting. We've got a new firmware. Um, so, click to the download page. Okay, so we click there and it's going to pop up with this page here. All right, so here we have uh, all the information about the firmware release, um, the description, what's been improved, it says here, um, the picture may freeze and they fix something there, um, blah, blah, blah. You can, I'm not going to read through all this script for you, you can go and read for yourself. Um, I believe it's always just good to keep your camera up to date with the latest firmware so that it's operating at its optimal capacity. So, got my SD card out of the camera. I'm gonna put it into my card reader over here. So it comes up, this is what it looks like when it's formatted. It's got two folders already, which is fine. Don't worry about that. Gonna click on the download button here opens with a box at the bottom here which says open save and I'm going to click save as and I want it to save onto my Lumix card so here you can see I've got the Lumix uh, well the file is going to be called G9 V21 it's a compressed folder and I'm going to put it on straight onto the card some people like to save it onto the computer and then transfer the BIN file across to the SD card. But what I'm going to do is just put it all on to the card. So press save.
Okay, so here it says that it's finished downloading. I'm going to press open to open it. And here is the bin file here. We can see we've got the G9 V21 bin file and it is located on the SD card. Uh, you can see that it's one layer down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to the top layer or I'm just going to move it up so that it's on the top of the SD card. So what I'm going to do is go copy. Actually, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go cut. I'm going to go up and I'm just going to paste it onto this top level so that when the camera goes to look for this file, it's going to see it straight away on the top. Okay, so this file was automatically extracted by Windows into the SD card. Now I've put it on the top, you can see there it is there, the bin file, and that's all I need to do. I can close this and remove my SD card. And now comes the fun part of updating the camera. So what I'm going to do is make sure that your camera has a full battery. Uh, then I'm going to insert the SD card into the camera here. Close it. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just come in close so you can see. I'll just try and make sure that it's focused on the camera here. I'll turn it on try and get out a picture. Um, now what you got to do is press okay so after you've turned on your camera it'll just be normal then you press the play button up here and it says please wait okay now it says the version and it says start version up, which I presume means to upgrade the version. So I'm going to press yes. Version up ongoing. Do not operate any of the buttons on the camera. And you can see that it is updating at the moment. Sorry, I'm just holding the camera here. <laughs> so it's a little bit wobbly. You can see how fast it's updating. It's updating, blah, blah, blah. Um, we'll come back. Okay, so, okay, so the camera now has finished updating and it's gone to a black screen and then come back to normal operation. I'll just take the lens cap off so that you can see the camera's working. And what I'll do is I'll just check the version, so not format anymore. Actually, I will format the card. Initially, I'm going to format slot one, which is the card that I use just to get rid of those files. Um, then I'm going to go to check the version that I'm running. Version display. And there we can see I've got version 2.1. Okay, so I hope that's been easy to follow and that it works for you as simply as it worked for me. Uh, the only thing you may get stuck up on re really is the extracting of the file. Um, you may not have an extraction tool in your uh, browser or your whatever you're using on your computer whether it's Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows XP um, you may need to download a extraction tool but uh, for me using Windows 10 this extracts very simply and smoothly and you can see that the whole update process only takes a few minutes really hope you've enjoyed this and if you want to see more videos about cameras and lenses and photography related, please subscribe 
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.